Hi there, welcome back to my channel, Bliss in the Chaos. My name is Dara, I'm a reseller on both Poshmark and eBay, under that name, Bliss in the Chaos. Well, it's been a crazy few weeks, as everybody knows, I mean, who doesn't know what's going on? Um, I have not been making very much content because I've been very busy, unexpectedly having all the children at home, and I get crazy, and six kids, and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. But I haven't been shopping, of course, because everything is closed. So I figure, you know, since I can't add to my death pile, I might as well try to chisel my way through it. And last week, actually, I got through this big pile of jeans I had in my office. I listed, I measured, photographed, listed 55 pairs of jeans. So if you're after jeans, Check them out at my closet, Bliss in the Chaos. I've got Cut from the Cloth, I've got Paige, I've got Joe's. Oh gosh, what else I got? Adriana Goldschmied, Miss Me, other stuff I don't remember. Anyway, well, I grabbed up a tub from my storage room down in the basement and decided that I will go through it and see exactly what I have in my this particular tub, and it'll be the next one I tackle to get up and listed. Let's get started. Old tub. Now this might be stuff that you've seen before in other hauls, so I don't know. <laughs> it is full of what looks like sweaters. And first off, oh I remember I did. This is that long blue and gray red dress that I had a few several months ago. I don't know, but it was in one of my videos. So a blue and gray dress should do okay right now. Um let's see this one here is cute. Silence and Noise, it's a rust-colored cardigan. Also cute. <laughs> Here we have a Brandy Melville. And this one is not cropped. A lot of her stuff is cropped. But this is a nice one size, very stretchy little Henley looking top. Gray. Those go pretty well. Now, um, lately, I had my Poshmark closet off on vacation mode for quite a while, a few weeks actually, during when this all first started, and I only just opened it up last week when I listed all of those jeans. And I have had several sales so far, so I'm thinking that people are getting their um, stimulus check, they can't go out shopping for, for realsies in person, so they're going to be online looking for stuff, and hey, if you've got it listed, why not? People are still shopping. Just be careful, of course, when you pack and everything. Hmm. Another lovely sweater. This is Anthropology's Charlie and Robin. This is that label. And it's got a big ruffled, like, over-the-shoulder shrug ruffle detail. Button down and it curves down here. I definitely need to depill this. Wow. Good shape. Besides the pills. Hmm. Oh, I remember this one. This is my big Buddha, big old cape poncho thing. It's really cool. It's got this iridescent threads inside of there, and it's so pretty. Uh, one size again. I like that. I might keep that. I've said that last time, I think. Oh, pants. Oh, I remember when I got these. This is so long ago got this at a thrift store called Bethany's Thrift Shop here in Grand Rapids, and I paid $4 for them. They are Saturday, Sunday, and that is from Urban Outfitters. They're size large petite sweatpants, zipper cuff, those are neat. Who knows? Oh, more jeans. <laughs> I thought I listed all my jeans. No, I didn't. I didn't really think that. Okay, these are seven for all mankind bit of a dark wash. These are the A pocket. They don't sell as well as they used to in my experience, but I should still be able to get about 30 out of those, I think. They're a boot cut, which seems to be doing okay for me lately. Boot cut. Another pair of jeans. Harley. These are Harley Davidson jeans. <laughs> they are also boot cut, of course, being Harley. Everyone wants to wear their moto boots. Got a big patch here on the tush. Some zipper details there. This button's open. Ooh, what's in there? Oh, this is a... Ooh, someone wanted 14 for these originally. I didn't pay 14. That's an old price tag. I don't remember what I paid, but yeah, it wasn't 14. <laughs> these are really cool. 
lots of fun buttons and those are cool. okay i'm sorry i'll stop with the harley jeans i love harley oh i remembered this this is a thermal uh free people thermal again with the fun cuffs i went i went over this in one of my old videos <laughs> another three pe free people this is where i must have put these ones this one's this long sleeve with this crochet detail at the cuff real pretty striped be good for spring but i'm in michigan and it is still freezing cold and still snowing and it is mid-april what can you do oh this is a lovely orange one from moth at anthropology moth this one is a size small of course it's really cute see like the detail on the side here with the stitching and that's on both sides that's got to be kind of slimming hmm. seems oversized for a small but you know that's kind of the the way that they're being worn nowadays yeah. this one kiddo i'm making a video can you leave me be for just a bit this one is silence and noise again but like do another you, but do you have a little bit of chocolate i can give you some chocolate when i'm done with my video okay you gotta be good. Chocolate. It's how I've been surviving. Bribery. And for myself. Chocolate. <laughs> anyway, this is a burgundy cowl neck short sleeve poncho type sweater. See? Like a dolman sleeve. It's really cute. It's silence and noise. Again, from, <laughs> from Urban Outfitters. Not Anthropology. Ah! I'm sure I showed you this at one point. Remember, how I've talked before about how much I love Alberto Macaulay's things. They're so artistic and so fun. And this one is, of course, a beautiful crochet knit with a toggle. A little leather toggle closure right here. And a real fur collar. Very soft. <laughs> oh. I don't think a lot of people are listing sweaters right now, but I don't know. I'll still list them because I've still got them. Ooh, Escada. This is a lovely little Escada shrug. It's like a crop length in the back and it doesn't have any buttons in the front or anything, but Escada is fantastic. And this is a beautiful color, beautiful summer spring color. And this one is of course, hmm, made in Romania. Virgin wool and silk. Mm, lovely. Yeah, so pretty. I love that color. Size medium. Do I have another Escada in that? Oh, well, we'll look later. This is pretty. This is cactus, I think. With a K. K-A-K-T-U-S. Size extra large. Very lovely maroon burgundy crochet knit with sequins and all sorts of fun things and flowers. And the sleeves are see-through, so this is another lovely spring piece. Extra large cactus. Beautiful. This is a brown something or other. I think this is Peruvian Connection. I'm right, Peruvian Connection. It's like, okay, it's kind of short. It's got like three-quarter sleeves, maybe three-quarter. Half sleeves, half or three-quarter, I guess, depending on how long your arms are. A little turtleneck sweater. Peruvian Connection is fantastic. This is something. Cache Silk. Oh, Cache is fantastic. They're out of business, but they made the most beautiful things. Look at the color on this. It's a royal purple. It's 100% silk. Man, well, 95% silk, 5% spandex, so it has a little bit of give. And the gold hardware, oof, that's beautiful. I love that. I've shown you this. This is Nagashoni, and I did look this up, and it is cashmere, even though I don't know that it doesn't have a fabric tag on it, but I saw one exactly like it, and it's cashmere. And this one is size large, little short sleeve, Nagashoni cashmere. <gasps> oh, Robert Graham. Was this my first? No, this isn't my first Robert Graham that I found, but I, God, I love how pretty it is. 
Robert Graham has the best things. They are so, are these pockets full or just not, I don't know. They're probably either stitched shut or stitched shut or faux pockets. Stitched shut. This one has a little bit. Yep. And yeah, Robert Graham. What size are you, buddy? Size six. Very colorful. Very nice. Gosh, that's pretty. This looks interesting. Oh, this is that Spencer Jeremy top. I never did do anything with that. It's a Spencer Jeremy silk wrap top. Size 10, 100% silk. Basic, pretty, love it. This is a dress. This is new with tags. Now it's a, it is a TJ Maxx tag. So I'll take that TJ Maxx tag off because they had it for 40 originally, compared to 84. But this is a um, QVC brand. And it should go pretty well, actually. It is Collective Concepts. It's a size small. It is sleeveless. This sweet little maxi length ruched top. Cute. Little summer dress. Perfect. New with tags. Gotta love that. Vendetta B. Knitwear. Size small. Made in Italy. This is pretty. It's like a boat neck with long sleeves and some waffle knit detail at the cuff. It's pretty. Yeah, waffle knit. And this is cashmere, I'm 100% sure. Watch me be wrong. <laughs> I was wrong. 48% <laughs> merino wool, 30% viscose, 15% nylon, 7% cashmere. I'm so sure. <laughs> I'm losing my game, kids. I'm losing it. This is Bowden. I know that without even looking at the tag. Think. I still have to get this through a whitening wash, but it's a Bowden's US 10 long. Gorgeous little sundress with polka dots. and It's great for some summer party if they ever let us get together again. <laughs> this guy is Tadashi. Tadashi Soji, but this is Tadashi Collection. And it's got this little button front and a tie, and it is so beautiful. So stylish. That's gorgeous. Man, gotta get all this stuff listed. Who are you? You are Mail Clue. I remember I looked this up, and it's a pretty high end brand. I'm not sure exact comps on this guy because I don't remember. It's been in my box for a while. But yeah, this guy is a pretty good brand. Let me see if I can give you that label. Mail Clue, M-A-I-L-L-E-C-L-U. And this one's a size large, blue. It's like sweater front. It's got this beautiful lace back. Hmm. Another Bowden. Oh, this is so lovely. Oh, it's of course way too small for me, but it's gorgeous. It's like a velvet front. And it's got this um, beautiful crochet detail there in a V-neck and these little cap sleeves that are adorable and this little zippered side. Gosh, it's cute. And this is a US size two petite. Are you a two petite? Do you need a navy blue bowden velvet dress? You want this one, it's cute. <laughs> oh gosh, another brown thing. Brunella Gori. I do not remember why I bought this. Probably because it said made in Italy. But yeah, this one is pretty. It's like a, it's got raglan sleeves, which is pretty nice. And this is a size large. Maybe I'll try that on. I like raglan sleeves on me. But it's a nice tone of brown, 100% extra fine merino wool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll try that on, maybe. Let's get distracted. I don't have anywhere to go. Oh yeah, remember this from a few videos ago? This cachet tiger dress. Ooh, people are gonna like this now more than that, more than ever now that that Joe Exotic tiger thing is on Netflix. My people are gonna want this tiger. Rawr. Size medium, cachet, fabulous. Whoop. This one's gotta be cashmere. This is LL Bean, green crew neck. Whew, that's so nice. LL Bean makes nice things. 100% cashmere. I was right that time. <laughs> Uh, anyway, hmm, who doesn't love cashmere? 
Here's another Escada one. Look at the color on this. This is an Escada um, shrug again. It does not have a closure on the front, nothing to, no buttons, no zips. So yeah, definitely an open front cardigan. I gotta tighten this. It's got a little leopard rawr thing on the pocket. I gotta stitch that down. That's so easy to do. I can stitch things down like that. Another one here. Pretty, green, love it. Size large, Escada Sport. And you are 55% silk, 45% cotton. Beautiful. I see something at the bottom that I love. <laughs> oh, here we go. Eileen Fisher. This lovely thing. It is a, a dress. I can't even remember if these are, if this was a, what is that? Ew, it had a bug in it. Okay, I'm going to have to wash that. See how it's got the cotton spun bug sack thing? Who knows what it was. But I'll double check that, make sure there aren't any holes, and get that thing cleaned out. That's pretty. Eileen Fisher Petite Rayon. Kind of a maxi length dress. Cool. Wash. Oh, yeah. This is that Crown Free. It's an extra large. And I looked that up and it's, I think it started here in Michigan, Ben, not Ben Harper, it was Byron Center, I think is where they started, real close to where I am. And it's like a teal and it's got that open back with the lace. It's nice. Don't remember how much it's going to go for. I've looked, but I don't remember. And one more thing down here. This is that thing that I love and I have, I don't think it's going to do anything or what, but who knows, it might. Um, this is the icing. And it's this great, lovely polar bear where it's got beaded ears and beaded eyes and a beaded nose. And then it's got this white here is a, like Angora. Oh. It feels like Angora. And then silver and gold. And it, it snaps closed. And the back has a little paw print. And it's so cute. And I love it. Oof. I definitely love it. It is Angora. Well, that was everything in this box today. Not as much as I thought there'd be, but they are large pieces being sweaters and everything. So I think I'll challenge myself to go ahead and get those measured at least tonight so I can photograph them this weekend and list them. And so keep an eye on my closet and we'll see how well I do and help keep myself accountable. Thanks again for joining me here on my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed my video. I've put links to my Poshmark, eBay, and anything else that may be of interest to you down in the description.